So this is my FPV setup for the GoPro HD Hero 3. Um, all the parts here are in the description below, um, along with links of where I bought them and um, more detailed description of each piece. Um, I just wanted to make this video very quickly to show my entire setup and um, uh, I'll show why I've got this setup and more details about the setup in future videos. But for now I just want to show you um, all the pieces put together and working. So um, here's my battery to power my transmitter. Just check, yeah, that red light means it's on. Um, the transmitter is soldered onto this little set of um, prongs. Uh, I forgot what they're called, but they'll be in the description below. Um, and those prongs are to go into this, which is a um, USB video out for the GoPro 3. Um, probably a diff under a different name um, when you're looking to buy it but that's what it is okay so that connects to those making sure that the wires are the same color that are connected so black to black yellow to yellow white to white the white is audio but um, you don't really need it um, I just put it there because it was already there okay and the USB goes into the GoPro switch the GoPro on. That should now be feeding, um, there should be a video feed from what the camera sees going through and being transmitted at the moment. Um, and that entire piece there is what you would put onto your um, plane or helicopter or um, quadcopter. Um, so in my case, it's the DJI Phantom. Um, and this is the battery for my transmitter. And that red light means it's on. Um, there are two video outs for the transmitter. You can choose either one of them. This is a four pole headphone jack. I bought a four pole headphone jack and I rigged it so that um, the transmitter, the, the sorry, the receiver will communicate correctly with the, um, the monitor I've bought. And this monitor is just a cheap Chinese 3.5 TFT monitor. Um, it has its own battery inside. Um, all the batteries here last uh, relatively long, much longer than the GoPro 3. Um, so you don't have to worry about having to, um, uh, uh, that your batteries will run out anytime um, during your FPV flight. <coughs> um, I got this monitor in particular uh, because it fits nicely on the wrist. Um, and I've got a wrist strap for it. You'll notice a lot of things have Velcro on, um, like here and on the back here and on the back of my monitor and on the back of this and on the back of here and also on there. Um, and that's just for extra security when it's all put together. So, right, back to the setup. Um, so one headphone jack goes into there, and the other one goes into here. I'll explain how I wired this up in a later video. Um, I just wanted to show as an example how this all works. You don't need this cable. Um, it These two products come with cables. I just bought this wire and cut it, soldered the um, wires in the right place so that uh, it makes a direct connection, it's much neater. 
Although it could do with a lot of shortening. So can this actually as well and all sorts of bits like I don't need this green wire and this red wire and all sorts of things. But um, that's besides the point. <coughs> right, let's switch on the monitor. Okay, and as you can see, the monitor is picking up um, the feed from the GoPro and it's completely live. There's no lag, unlike the um, the Wi-Fi app that you can get for your iPhone or Android, um, which comes free from GoPro, um, which allows you to view a live video feed from the camera via Wi-Fi, but there's a lag of, um, I don't know, four or five, maybe ten seconds. It's ridiculous. Whereas this, there's maybe uh, half a second lag, maybe, between that. That's not that bad. It's perfectly fine. Um, as you can see on the monitor, you got the uh, couple of battery indicators, I'm not quite sure which ones they are, I don't know what that one is, but that one's for the GoPro, um, the, that, this is from the GoPro, that's from the GoPro, so is this, um, and so is that. Um, and so yeah, this is my setup. Um, I could try and show you quickly why I've bought such a small monitor. Um, I don't particularly re recommend this monitor because um, the screen is really small. It's great for quickly going out and about, but it's uh, not so great for uh, if you really want to get into um, flying FPV. It's more of a, a supplement to flying FPV rather than uh, a tool for actually flying FPV. So this is a, a GoPro wrist mount um, that I've taken because the the wrist mount that came with um, with this monitor was um, was really bad. Um, just itched a lot. Uh, so if I just quickly put this on, I'll try not to take too long. So the way I planned it was you have this velcro on the bank there, this velcro on the bank here, um, then I need to tidy these cables up, but um, if I strap this to my wrist, um, it means that, oh, I've got it the wrong way around. Um, because it's strapped to my wrist, it allows me to be completely hands-free. Um, I also made it wrist-mountable because um, I want to, to use this for um, other means other than just FPV. I'd also like to use it for other videos. Um, like I said, I haven't sorted out the wires yet. Um, oops, sorry. Okay. But yeah, it'll look something like this. It, it looks ridiculous and uh, if you were to wear this on a normal day um, down the street, you'd probably get a couple of looks um, like you were the Mad Professor or Doc Brown from Back to the Future or something. Um, but I think it's cool. <laughs> uh, and I, I haven't seen anyone make a rig quite like this. Um, and I thought... Uh, I thought it was a pretty neat idea um, yeah if uh, you want to see anything else in particular before I actually make other videos showing exactly what I've done um, 
then uh, yeah, leave your comments and um, leave your comments below. Um, if you have any questions um, or anything, feel free to ask, and uh, I'll try and help where possible. Um, and I'll show you when I upgrade this setup because uh, I want to get uh, longer range um, antennas um, and uh, I'm also going to do videos on how long the batteries last and um, uh, I'd like to show you how effective um, the, uh, the FPV is so at the moment the the video quality is perfect because it's only what 10 centimeters away but um, when it's 100 meters away you start to lose quality a bit and I just want to show you how far you can go before um, before you start really losing quality and um, how effective it is to use um, such a small screen for um, for doing FPV flying and various other thoughts and things like that, but um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hit like and subscribe, and uh, I'll try and get some more videos out. Thanks.